Hello fellow Zuba Kings and Queens, welcome to Court Royal, and in today's video, your entertainer Zuba King is going to be doing a how-to on Iris. Before we get started guys, I actually kind of want to do a shout out, kind of, to uh, Pokemon and Zuba. They had a really, really weird idea actually, and it was kind of like cool because how can Iris wear jungle shoes and holy sandals? And I think that's actually really kind of funny because the truth is she can't. She doesn't have feet. And the truth is also the same for uh, Finn, I think, because Finn just has the tail. And I don't I don't know if there's any other characters where it's true. I think they all have feet other than Finn and Iris. But I think it's kind of funny. I just thought that was really cool. And again, thank you for your comment, Pokemon and Zuba. Also, guys, thank you in advance for 500 subscribers. I'm sitting at like 593 or something. <laughs> 500 493 anyways guys i'm so close to hitting 500 and if i've already hit it by the time you're seeing this awesome guys i cannot wait to get that community tab that's gonna be pretty cool i think my channel will grow a lot faster there and i'm just gonna be getting closer and closer to the zuba partnership program super hype for that guys anyways guys let's go ahead and move on to the real video yo what's up guys zuba king here and in today's video i'm gonna be doing a how to on Iris, if you didn't already know. Now, I've done a how to play on quite a lot of characters now. Not all of them, but a decent amount of them. And since Iris just came out, I thought I'd go ahead and do a how to play on Iris. Just because I've been playing with her for a while now. Actually, I've already gotten her level 5, which is crazy. And so this video is going to be for those of you who already have her. Or if you're going to look at getting her soon. Or honestly, if you just want to watch a video. Because I'm going to have gameplay. It's just, in general, Iris is kind of an epic character. And I thought I'd go ahead and make a how to play because she already seems so OP and I figure I'd just hop right into this. So as usual, starting out with the items and attributes, I don't have hardly any items for her. So you're going to have to bear with me here. I'm actually going to switch over to my Larry. Actually, uh, yeah, I'm going to go switch over to, I don't know, honestly, let's go with Finn because he's got the same loadout as Iris. So, for Iris, what you're mainly going to want to carry is going to be... Uh, Adrenaline Shot is probably going to be a staple unless you're good at using it. She is a longer range character, so if you're careful, you could take Adrenaline Shot off. Especially if you know that you can consistently use those medkits. But I'm probably going to use Adrenaline Shot once I get it. Fangs is going to be a must. So, Adrenaline and Fangs are two that I definitely recommend putting on her. Do not use Bandage because she doesn't have enough health, really, to balance things out. It's just not a good item, I don't feel like, for Iris. So yeah, Vampire Teeth and Adrenaline Shot. And then there's two setups you could do. You could do the more defensive setup, or I would say for duos, trios, or grinding trophies, would be Cluster Molotov, just to give you that area control. Or if you're going for the hyper-aggressive gameplay, I would go ahead and do Jungle Shoes and Holy Sandals, as well as Adrenaline Shot and Fangs, which would is my Larry setup. Or you just got Cluster, Molotov, and Adrenaline Shot and Fangs. I definitely think Fangs would go Trump uh, Cluster Bomb. It would also probably go over uh, Holy Sandals. I just don't think... I think Fangs is going to be a staple at this point. So yeah, for three items, I would do something like this or something like this for Iris. Now, let's go ahead and look at Attribute Points. For Attribute Points, I'm actually going to use Iris because I have some of those. For Bomb, especially... For if you're going to be doing the area control, I definitely recommend Radius. If not, I mean, maybe even just split it evenly be between cooldown reduction and Radius, no matter what. I have mostly Radius because I don't have any Triple or Molotov on there. So as of right now, I think Radius is just the best way to go so I can maximize the damage dealt. Again, you're going to want to be hitting as many shots as possible because of her poison damage. As far as Shotgun, her Shotgun already has Long Barrel. So, if anything, I would just kind of do an even mix of range or velocity. Just depends on your playstyle. So, if you're going super aggressive, I might put it on velocity so you can get that damage dealt quicker. Or, if you're playing the long game, I do range. I'm going to do velocity because I, I tend to like going faster. Velocity is pretty powerful. As for spear, it's a thrust spear. I am the master of thrust spears. I love them. And it's going to all be range, guys. Her thrust spear, it's really powerful, but unfortunately... It's not super long range, so you're going to have to be a little bit careful when it comes to saving it to get away or whatever. Anyways, guys, that's attributes and items. Let's go ahead and jump right into gameplay. Okay, guys, so we're jumping right into gameplay here. Uh, I have a guard on me already. That's going to be epic right now. 
I think I have jungle shoes equipped, so that's pretty good. I'm going to have to remember to use that adrenaline shot. But anyway, guys, basically, what you're going to want to do is I'm going to start out with the order of weapons. So the first thing you're going to want to do is use your venomous strike. Now, every, de every weapon does a little bit of damage and gives you that poison effect. So as far as it goes for the poison effect, I don't think it's a huge really... I don't think it's huge to pick what weapon to use first. I do think the most important weapon to use first, though, is going to be your Venomous Strike. And that is because, one, it has the longest range, I think, unless you range your shotgun or bomb or something like that. And basically what it does is it allows you to initiate attacks without having any danger to yourself. It also takes, the one, the longest to actually charge up and shoot, and two, it takes the longest to cool down. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to use that to, like, initiate your attacks and stuff, and that way you don't have to worry about, you know attacking later in the game with it so yeah the poison took him down so the second thing you're going to want to worry about i mean you know firstly that then the attack you're going to follow with is going to be tossing a bomb that you can then quickly run into she does have a decent amount of health but unfortunately she's not a close range character so if you can protect yourself by tossing bombs on top of yourself that's really going to help you out in the long run then lastly you're going to want to use your shotgun and then your thrust spear to help you get away I do not suggest using the, th the spear to initiate any attacks. I know how I say with Larry, the thrust spear is very good for initiating attacks. With Iris, it's mostly going to be used for getting away. Unless you have a high level advantage on your opponent, you have to have a lot of self-control and don't attack people with the thrust spear. Use it for moving around and getting away only, okay? You're going to use it similar to Nyx's boost. Wow, this Yara is really kicking my butt here. So yeah, the Yara is being really good at maintaining social distance. Uh, unfortunately, I did spear at her. See, I'm still used to playing Larry, really, like, I'm used to playing Larry a lot. Missed that, unfortunately. Yeah, alright, so I was able to take that character down. Hopefully, this Nyx doesn't prove to be much of a threat. Gonna bite the Nyx, toss the bomb. I'm Remember, I'm managing to keep as much distance as possible. She actually feels like she should be a close-range character. Unfortunately, she's just not. So I have to be okay with that. And that just, that's going to be fun. It's fun, but it's going to lead to some interesting gameplay. I accidentally just bit the Molly's child. I don't think it's socially acceptable to bite other people's children. Anyway, so yeah, the strategy is going to be lead with the bite so you can get that poison in quickly. Again, and then you're going to toss that bomb, be able to get onto it. Then you're going to shoot the shotgun. Now, everything about Iris is going to be very technically based and very skillful. You're going to have to be very careful when you're doing things you can potentially mess up. She does have a medium amount of health, similar to a Nyx. Not enough that I would say it's okay to take risks. She does not have a huge amount of health. And so you're going to have to be a lot more careful when it comes to attacking people. Right now, I don't think she's as good at this low level because, I mean, like I said earlier, she doesn't. She needs Vampire Fangs. So since I don't have Vampire Fangs on her, it's unfortunately just going to be too little to affect, you know, any major gameplay decisions I make. Uh, so, yeah... That's the order of things. I've told you like four million times. It's pretty simple. And, oh, shoot, I didn't have a drilling shot. I was so focused on talking to you guys. I lost. It's okay, though. I had a fun game. Oh, I got her a moat. So, yeah, that's going to be step one of playing her. Order of attacks. Make sure to do that. Uh, Go ahead and s just step one. I'm not going to equip the moat because we're doing step one here. Two. Gosh, my mind is wandering today. You guys tell me to just mentally slap me in the face and be like wake up Zuba King use your freaking brain uh step two is gonna be hit people with poison as early on and then don't worry about attacking them a lot of people whenever they start attacking someone they freak out and they're like oh crap oh crap I gotta keep, I gotta finish up this fight I gotta get them dead because you've already invested so much in the fight the great thing about Iris is you don't have to invest so much in a fight all you have to do is bite them one little time and and your venom takes care of it. So what they're either going to have to do is they're going to take a ton of damage. And then they're going to be forced. And if they run away, they're just super low HP. And they're going to be picked off by someone else. So there's not a huge level of commitment when you're playing with Iris. Because all you have to do is hit one damage in. And they're majorly weakened. And often this will lead to an unsatiable desire for revenge. So basically they're going to want to kick your butt because you essentially poisoned them. Uh, another thing is just keep your distance. I said this a lot in step one, but yeah, keeping your distance is going to be crucial when it comes to playing as Iris. I don't know what that Nyx was thinking, but they suck. Um, yeah, keep your distance. Play the long game. Okay, guys, that's going to be step three is playing the long game. 
you're going to want to hide, you're going to want to snipe people. You cannot be hasty with Iris. I think in the future, when I get her like level 12, 13, 14, maybe half her primal instinct, get some better items on her, I think I can be a little bit more aggressive. But as of right now, I think playing the long game is the safest option with a character like Iris. It is weird though, because she feels like an up-close type, kind of brawler type. And so, basically what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to have a lot of self-control. Now, heck, if you already have her level 6 at 17, good on you, but I do not. <laughs> and I do not think most of the population even has her yet, so I don't think most of the population has her level 17. And yeah, it took a little bit of damage there. See, the poison. I played the long game. I didn't spear at them. I just kind of chilled, and the poison took care of them. I mean, that's really it, guys. As for places on the map, I'm not going to do a whole little drawing here, but on the mini-map, Places that are kind of like hidden, you don't want to be out in the open. Stay away from water unless you have sandals. Uh, the museum's not a great place, but it's a lot better than if you were being like Larry or something because you do have that bomb advantage. That's one reason I think Yara is going to be a very good character is because she's got that bomb. It just It's super meta and it allows you to stay distance while still doing lots of area control and damage. Anyways guys, let's just go ahead and finish up this gameplay. I can be a little bit more aggressive with this Nyx because I mean, they're, t I mean, they're not terrible but they're definitely not as strong as I am. One thing you're going to be careful of is once somebody uses a med kit, they lose that poison ability, or that poison effect. So if they happen to use a med kit, just make sure to follow up, bite them again, or throw another weapon at them. The great, the great part about Iris is that every weapon she does deals that extra little poison damage, so you don't have to worry about hitting a specific shot. It's just any shot is going to deal that damage. So go ahead and don't worry about trying to hit the bite the bite is amazing. One little small tip, I think, is when you use the bite. I said this in my introduction to Iris video. If you happen to time the bite correctly, it makes her hitbox, like, invisible. So it's actually a split second where you aren't taking any damage. And I think that's pretty cool. Also, guys, I have 20,000 tickets. Comment down below what you want me to spend them on. I mean, I'm trying to get top 10% on this weekly event. I'm just afraid it's not going to happen. I don't have a huge amount of tick points. Anyways, guys, comment down below what you want me to spend my tickets on because I wanted to get Shinobi Larry, but I quite frankly, I don't think I'm going to have enough tickets to get it by the end of the season, which is only going to be like, a well, no, the end of the season is tomorrow, but I don't think I'm going to have enough tickets for it by the end of the eight days because if assuming I get the 10,000 tickets here, that's only 30,000. I need to get 9,000 more, and then there's a chance I don't even get Shinobi Larry, so... Guys, comment down below what exactly you want me to spend it on, and stay tuned for tomorrow's season end, no, not tomorrow's, wait, yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow's season end rewards deal, it's gonna be lit. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, have an outstanding day, and I'll see you in the zoo.